Now 629 and Rita Spikesma lost her battle with leukemia in December of 2005, but a run now in its seventh year is dedicated to preserving her memory while helping the fight against leukemia. And joining us this morning is Rita's brother, Tim Pickett, to tell us more about the seventh annual Run for Rita. Good morning, Good morning Tim. Tim. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. You bet. So start by telling us, you know, how this run got started. Um, the, the kind of the backstory mm -hmm. behind it. You bet. Thing. Um, you know, R Rita was a very active person and uh, enjoyed running as a part of her routine prior to leukemia. And so during her sickness, she, you know, wanted to, uh, when I get better, I want to run, you know, and uh, that didn't happen. And so uh, this is a way that uh, we remember Rita, uh, where we can, you know, help some people in the process, so. And this is your seventh year. Tell us a little bit, Has how much has this grown over the last, you know, seven years? <laughs> well, uh, According to the official count last year, we had over 225 people participate, which is just fabulous. Um, you know, and, and it's not about necessarily the money, but we've been able to raise close to $30,000 to help families uh, going through this uh, time of trial with cancer, not necessarily always leukemia, but uh, it's just been a fantastic way to just help people in the community. So. And you yourself know what it's like going through the battle of having a family member with cancer. So what's it like giving back to those families that are dealing with it now? You know, personally, I've uh, been a part of uh, one of the, I call the gifts. And, and it's not like there's an a, a, uh, application process. It's through word of mouth and uh, friends and that uh, we don't necessarily choose, but feel we are led to uh, the families that we help. And it's just, uh, it's very emotional. And, but it's also just very up, <coughs> excuse me, uplifting to, uh, to be able to help those people in a time of need. And sometimes it's, it's not the size of the gift. It's uh, just the fact that you can't help. Well, Tim, how can people get involved with the Run For Rita? Um, I'm sure you guys are taking volunteers, things like that, too. You bet. Um, you know, uh, the run is uh, October 13th in Paisley Park here in Sioux Falls uh, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And, you know, if, you can't, if you're not a runner and just want to come out and uh, enjoy the day, hopefully it'll be a beautiful day like last weekend uh, for the run. <laughs> so you probably have a good chance. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the way the weather patterns have been going. But, uh, you know, you can sign up online at runforita.org. And... Uh, you know, you can either donate if you can't be there or whatever. It's just uh, however you want to be a part of it. So and I saw a little something about costumes and Halloween. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, I've been the Swedish chef. I've been a uh, 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 hillbilly with no teeth. And so it's, <laughs> that part of it is always uh, interesting to see some. You, know, you can run dressed if you want to, or you can just show up and be a part of it. So. Well, and now what's the story behind that? Um, in a costume? Uh, it just so happens that Halloween was one of... Rita's favorite times to get dressed up and enjoy family and friends, and so that's what we do. Carry that on, and that's part of the reason it's in October as well. Very so, cool. Uh, fun. You bet. Well, thanks a lot, Tim, Thank for joining us this morning, it. telling us about Run for Rita. And for more information on this uh, interview, folks, or to view it again in its entirety, all you have to do is just log on to kdlt.com, and we'll be right back after this.